Hello YouTube and today I'm just going to show you some new key features of the HP Touch Smart series computers. Uh, it's just another one of their Touch Smart programs, but this one has a couple of new features as far as uh what they they call this the um I'm, I forgot what it's called. I'll post it in the, in the description below here, but uh First of all, I just wanted to see, show you guys. You can go ahead and draw anything here, anything you want. Actually, I'm just you know scribbling for the point of it. Click save, and there it is. Put it wherever you want it. Now this is good if you want to make yourself a personal note. You can hit graffiti, take out trash. Now I know this may sound dumb, but whatever. Stick it right there. Can zoom it, make it a little bigger here, and then you just pin it. All right. Um, another thing here, there is an app center. You can get some apps where you can actually do more. Now, I think that there isn't very many apps available at the moment, but you know, whatever, because okay, I gotta get it into focus here. You got Cartoon Network, a bunch of different things about that. There is an eBay app, so it does making make posting eBay items easier. And there is also photo. You guys can't see that in the last second. All right, sorry about that. You got right down here. You have photo, which is actually really nice to have because you can edit a photo and then it actually runs off Facebook to upload it so it's more like a win you know you don't have to actually open Facebook go into your pictures and upload you can just upload it directly from the HP touch smart s s software they put on this computer there is Hulu which is a nice feature to have where you can actually watch your favorite shows movies and other things they have their own s version of a web browser which I haven't really explored too much but basically it's just a regular web browser just browse for any random thing here and it has the same results as if you were actually using the web browser as like Internet Explorer, Safari, or any of the others. I mean, that's kind of obvious. I don't need to go into depth on that. But when you come down here, you can actually get weather, live TV, but that does need some sort of subscription. I haven't really messed with that too much. Okay, and then you also have... Netflix, so if you have a Netflix subscription, you can just watch movies directly on this, which is nice to have because, as you can see here, it's actually a 20-inch LCD display HD, so that that's real nice, and it's got good sound, too. I'm surprised for a computer has decent sound. Now, if you open up the webcam, there's also features as far as editing photos, and you can also do this thing called webcam splitter if you're using Skype, where you can actually make yourself look like an animal or a person or any of those kind of things. You also have, let's see here, video, which I believe you can take a video right from your actual computer webcam. Not the webcam right there. You can see that somewhere. There it is. See, is that webcam right there? Probably make a video, like a YouTube video, if you just want to discuss something. You don't actually want to, you know, review it. And. You know, that's probably about it. Uh, if you have any questions, just put it in the comments below there. Oh, my bad, below there. And uh, please rate and subscribe. This is my first video, so if you don't like it, I don't want to tell you because it's my first one. And I don't have a dock. I'm actually using just random items I had around the house to actually do this with, where I just set it down. And there you go. I really don't have too much. But I also would like to add to this video, as I've just learned this myself, if you have a program such as Avast that will not run at startup, I'll put the link, I'll put the, let's see if I can focus in on here, let's see, I will put this here, this little uh, command in the start, in the description below, but what this basically does guys is you can, you type this in, click OK and then you actually make a, a shortcut of your favorite something you want to launch at startup. Avast for some reason on this computer wasn't set to launch so I made a, a shortcut of it 
and then basically I'll show you how to do it with Skype. Let's see if I can find it here. All right, we right click on Skype, and then you want to hit Cut, and then you come over to the prompt box we just opened. You want to first of all, actually, guys, I didn't explain this. You go to Start, click Run here, and then as I said this will be in the description below but you want to type this into the run command and click OK but I'm not going to because I already have it open and you'll get this little thing it's the startup which is all the files that this computer will launch at startup now I had to put a vast in here because a vast did not start up at startup so I wouldn't get this little orange ball which actually means I am protected so I had to add that to my startup but what you want to do, like I said, is when I came over here to Skype and I cut it, you want to come over here to the command, right click, and you want to go to paste. Again, you want to just tell this to continue if you get one of those. Now that's going to load up. Alright, now you got Skype here, you want to right click, rename. Now you want to leave. You want to go to the front of Skype and just add startup to the beginning of that. Now, when you restart your computer, these programs will launch a startup. I don't know why Snapfish is on here, it's just how it came. I added Avast and now I just added Skype. So, if you guys got any questions about anything I said in this video or any kind of reviews on as far as my first video or anything like that, Please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Alright, see you YouTube.